All right, so today we're going to be going over a couple things. Um, as you may have noticed, the console commands from BF3 to BF4 did not transfer over. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, the new ones. Uh, this took a little bit of time to figure out. Honestly, not a lot, but it'll save you the time of uh, figuring it out for yourself. Um, the first command up is I'm going to show you how to remove the UI, which may or may not be necessary uh, depending on you know what you're trying to record, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. The first command is UI dot draw enable space, and it's a true or false field, or a zero or one. Uh, whichever one is easier for you and uh, you can see its results uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on again that way uh, you know we can see how everything exactly affected with the other tests that I'm about to do All right, the second command is for drawing your FPS. If you remember, this used to be render dot draw FPS space true. Well, now it's perf overlay dot draw FPS space true. Um, this comes in pretty handy, especially right now. I'm trying to figure out what kind of frame rates you're getting, uh, which I don't know about you, but for me, it was pretty low there for a while. Uh, I actually installed the uh, beta drivers that NVIDIA just released for my GTX 780, and I'm doing a little bit better, but still not that great. All right, actually what you see right here is me getting curious um, what the effect is of going from like ultra to low. Um, I didn't really think it was that huge of an effect. I know games like Metro Last Light going from ultra to low, you see frame rate increases from, you know, 30 frames per second all the way to 100 frames per second. Here, I really didn't see that big of a difference off the bat, but at the particular point in the map, I didn't think that there was a lot to render. So you see me hop in the chopper, and I'm actually going to uh, do a little flying and see how that affects the dips. Now I've got to go for a little uh, fly correction right there so I don't hit a wall in the middle of my test, but I'm going to go ahead and bump it back down to low. And uh, I will see a slight difference, but you know, really what I think is going to make the big difference is uh, driver optimization. Like beta drivers for NVIDIA practically just came out and that actually helped my setup a lot. I have a 4770K and a GTX 780, which should normally destroy most video games um, regardless of settings. Ultimately what I'm noticing is that my lows aren't as low and my highs are on average probably about 20 frames more. Like you see me actually break into like 90 and almost 100. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next command which is uh, how to cap your frame rate. And I personally think that this uh, kind of creates a weird effect. Um, you'll see that my frames do drop down to 30, but they also get down to like around, you know, 20, what, 26, 27, 28, which is uh, right there that unplayable rate. Uh, it's not really something that is going to be beneficial this time. Maybe if you capped around 40, 45, here in a second you're going to see me cap at 60. You can still see my frames dip pretty well. They never actually drop below 30. Um, me personally, I've never really been a fan of uh, capping my frames simply because I have a 144 hertz monitor. And uh, I've actually gotten to the point where I think anything below like 80, 90 frames is uh, you know, just enough to piss me off basically. 
Um, but yeah, just so you know, um, this video was mainly about all the console commands and what you can and cannot do with them. I'm sure there's more. These are the only ones I really found to be useful. Uh, thanks to you guys for watching the video and tune in for more.